just wait for my paper to open. How are you defining? Mm, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay. I have a yes. This is a good question. Don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Yeah, go on. When it was at the bottom. Mm. Correct. Well, it depends on which plate it's on. So, like for example, let's say this is a positive plate and this is a negative plate, and I have an electron. If I put my electron here in the field, it will want to move this way, so it has potential energy. But if I put my electron here, it won't want to move. So here it has no potential energy. Does it have any kinetic energy at all in the field? It depends on what it was doing. So like here, if I put it here, then when it gets to here, it'll have kinetic energy. But if I was simply just to place the electron here, then it'll have no potential or kinetic. Um, yeah. So it does matter which side of the it's on. So in the previous yeah. question, it passes from the positive to the negative. Um, yeah. So right here, <coughs> oh, I see what you mean. This is an electron. So it had potential. It had potential energy here. Yeah. And at the top? At the top, the electron has potential energy. Well, it always has kinetic, because it's always moving. In this one? Oh yeah, well I suppose the difference is, in this one here, you actually are you're firing the electron in the field. Whereas in these ones here previously, we just imagined the electron sort of gently placed in the field. Yeah. Uh, so this one here has kinetic the whole time. Uh, so when its kinetic is low, its potential energy would have to be high then. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Good question. Actually, yeah, the potential. Uh, I don't think we. No, we can't do that here. We can't do that here because um, you could maybe you could maybe say PE one plus KE one equals PE two plus Ke2. But what's nice about this picture is it starts at rest, so there's no kinetic energy. And it, there's usually like a little hole here, so it leaves the field, so then it has no potential energy. So then we can make the formula easier. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, okay. A bar magnet lies horizontally in some paper or something. The magnet lies on the y-axis. No, okay, so what you have is you have the magnet north here, south here, and then you have this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and an electron moves this way. Okay, so, left-hand rule. The B... Uh, the B is this way. B. The I is this way. So the force is out of the page. Out of the page. Out of the page, yeah. Come to me, okay? Uh, um, sounds very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> sounds very romantic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we usually would say out of the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same meaning, right? Same meaning. Same meaning. True. Not true. True. Okay. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. Number two <coughs> then. A magnet with a flux of 400 milliwebers over a square. Uh, what is the density? Okay. Uh, so our formula for density was uh, flux over area, which is 400 milli 
over 0 0.02 squared. What was that, please, if you have it? What is it? Exactly a thousand? So one kilo Tesla. <coughs> yeah? Okay. Three. Uh, an electron moves perpendicular to magnetic field of flux density 500 millitesla. What is the force if its speed is 0 0.01c? So you know the formula for force is equal to QVB. So in this case it would be electron times 0 0.1 times the speed of light times 500 milli. Not 0 0.1. 0 .1. Oh, 0 0.01. Times 500, 500. 500 milli, so that's 0.5. Okay, so well, what's that now, please, if you have it? 2.4? Minus, Minus 13? Yes. Newtons. Okay, four. So this is the hard one, but I did one like this in class. A particle of 10 to the minus 25 kilograms and charge minus 2e moves in a magnetic field at a speed of 20 at the speed of light, and the flux density is 750 millitesla, and it causes it to move in a circle. What's the radius of the circle? So what you have here is, um, I can try and draw this in three dimensions. Uh, this can be <coughs> this can be the B going into the page, and uh, what is it? An electron must be. It's negative. So here's my electron, and it's moving this way. Then it enters this field. What's the force? Right. F B I B is that way. I is to the left, so the F is down. So in this picture, if this is my electron, when it enters the field, it will turn down. So there's a, a circular motion here, it makes it turn in a circle. So F equals Q B B, but because it's moving in a circle, and um, yeah, V squared over or. Okay, so therefore, the or equals mv squared over qvb. Is that it? Okay. All right. Um, mass of the electrons? No, 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 no. Now, we know the mass. It's 10 to the power of minus 25, wasn't it? Uh, the V is 0 0.01 times C. Uh, the Q, do we know it? Yeah. Two e. Minus 2E, two e, so 2E, because I already considered the minus. Zero oh, is it? Thank you. Um, uh, 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 VB. Velocity is scared. Oh, actually, hang on, what am I doing? Sorry, that's really silly. Because I can cancel. Yeah. I can cancel this with that. So I can just have a... So, you know, but now I don't need to worry about the square. Um, times the B, which is 0 0.750. Yeah. So I got a radius of 6.24 metres. Now you see, this formula right here, this is actually in the formula book. But I don't feel it's very helpful for you just to use this, because you have no understanding of where it came from. I think it's more helpful to, to think of this. This is the force on it, and this is because it's moving in a circle, and so they must be the same because it's the force making it move in a circle. I think it's better. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah. 
or this again? For this question? Okay. <coughs> Which way is the B? Yeah. Into yeah. the screen. Because of this symbol. No, B is the, the field. Guys, look, this symbol here means into, into the page. So the B goes into the page. And which way is the I? Yeah. Well, if the electron moves to the right, the I is to the left. And this is the I. So around my hand goes. So then the F, down. down. Yeah? Libre way. What? Libre way. What? Into the page. Into the page. Away from me. Don't come to me. Libre way. Libre way? You mean like go away? Go away. Okay, are you writing this down, Chancellor? Yeah. yeah. Um, should we, like in this question, should we know the direction? No, no, no. I just wanted to draw a picture, so it's really not necessary. Because when I found it, it's Oh, no, 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 it's just the way I drew it. Like, I mean, I could have drawn the B coming out of the page. Like, it's just, I wanted a picture, that's all. Yeah? Continue. Uh, yes, okay. I closed this though. I think that was the last one, wasn't it, for this one? Yeah, so we can start the next lesson then.